complaints from farmers yesterday in Hubli, Bijapura, and Belgavi are very serious and grave. The kind of changes that have been made to the land records of farmers could not have been done without the collusion of the revenue authorities on the instruction of the very senior uh, political leadership of the state. Without following any procedure of the law, without any due process, without giving an opportunity of being heard, without notices being served, literally hundreds of acres of land belonging to farmers, ancient temples, historical mutt, and even ASI property have been registered in the name of the Waqf Board. And when the farmers have tried to verify their records by looking up in the Bhumi website, the farmers have complained to us that even the access to the website was taken off. These are very serious charges. I have requested the chairman of the JPC to summon to Delhi before the JPC the revenue secretary of Karnataka government and the concerned DCs of these districts so that they could be held accountable before the JPC and uh, they could be asked as to how these revenue cha uh, changes were made to revenue document without following the procedure known to law. This is a very serious issue and uh, the JPC chairperson has uh, uh, consented to uh, summon these uh, senior officers to Delhi and I am sure that a lot of uh, 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 material, especially the political agenda of the state government will be exposed. Sir, uh, some of the Congress leaders including Mukhyan, Jani Rammar and some one Mr. Javid Lewandowski from Congress have objected to the visit of the uh, JPC chairman to Karnataka. Getting the JPC way. chairman even earlier has visited multiple cities in his individual capacity. Every member of the JPC is free to meet with stakeholders and receive memorandums and petitions and present it before the JPC. When the JPC chairperson met with Muslim organizations, Muslim scholars in Lucknow, in Mumbai and other parts of the country in his individual capacity, these very same people had no objection. But today, when he has met with uh, the victims of the works board's encroachment in Hubli, Bijapura, etc., there is a hue and cry about it. I would want to remind these uh, esteemed members from the opposition that rule of law and secularism cannot be a one-way street. What is good for goose is also good for gander.